Hi everyone, today I'm going to introduce a built-in simulator function of T16D transmitter. T16D comes with built-in simulator function, which means you can play simulator just by using a Type-C cable to connect T16D to the computer. Built-in simulator function is for open source simulators such as TRYPFPV, Airfly, OnCrashed, LiftOff, FPV Logic, Velocidrone, and so on. Both Windows and Mac computer can be used. For traditional simulators such as Phonics, you still need a dongle to connect T16D to the computer. And here are the steps to use the built-in simulator function of T16D. First, please update the firmware of T16D to version 1.7.1 or above. You can download the latest firmware of T16D on Redulink official website and check the tutorial on how to update the firmware here. Enter main menu, transmitter settings. About, we can see the firmware version of this T16D is version 1.7.1, .1, which means it supports built-in simulator function. Second, connect T16D to the computer. Here the Type-C cable that comes with T16D. Connect one end to the Type-C port of T16D. Here it is. And connect the other end to the computer. Third, play simulator on the computer. The user methods are similar for all simulator software. We use OnCrash the simulator as an example. It has been already installed on my computer. Here it is. Open it. And you can download the simulator software online. Click Options. And move the stick. There is movement of the bars, and here is unknown TD, which means the transmitter is recognized. And the stick mode of this T16D is mode 2, so I need to select mode 2 here. And then we need to calibrate the transmitter. Click Auto to calibrate each stick, then follow the instructions to move the joystick. And click Auto. Move throttle stick. Roll. Pitch. Yo. In pay attention, if the movement of the stick is opposite to the bar movement here, uh, please click Invert here, then the movements will be correct. And after that, click Stick Calibration. Move all sticks to the limits. Center all the sticks and press OK. And move all the sticks. We can see the several movements are correct, which means the calibration is done. And by the way, here is reset. And I can switch to restore the drone to the original flight condition when there is a crash. Click Auto and push switch A up and down. It is recognized. Then I can use switch A to reset the drone. And for flight modes, I can assign a three position switch to change the flight modes. Click Auto and push switch C up and down. It is recognized that I can use switch C to switch the flight modes. And there are some other settings such as graphics, gameplay audio, rates, drone settings. You can set them according to your needs. And then let's play. Single player, you can choose the scene you like. I choose Arctic Island and wait for the loading. Push down the throttle and push up the throttle to fly it. And there are flight, you can push switch C to switch the flight modes, Icro mode, Angle mode and 3D mode. Here it is. And when there is a crash, you can push switch A to restore the drone. So that's all about the built-in simulator function of T16D transmitter.